don't know why I get excited because it's Friday. I mean, I'm retired anyway. Well, medically retired. Um, I'm not old enough to be properly retired, guys. <laughs> so I'm medically retired. Um, and we never do much anyway. So I don't know why I get excited every Friday. But it's just a nice prospect, isn't it, the weekend. Today I've got a massive haul for you. I've got some tip shop, I've got some Poundland, I've got some charity shop and I got a little bit of um, Sainsbury's too, as in two from Sainsbury's, not Sainsbury's as well, two. I'm not making any sense am I? <laughs> oh my god, and I haven't even started yet guys. So I'm going to get into the tip shop haul. Firstly, before I start, it is boiling hot in this house. It's not hot outside. I mean, it's 21, so it's not particularly warm. It's cloudy and overcast and spitting to rain. But I am still boiling. This house holds the heat. Um, and I'm waffling again. So tip shop. Everything I got there, the lady bundled together and said you can have the whole lot for three quid. So I did. So I picked up this really, really heavy wine rack. Um, I'm not really a wine drinker, but there's loads of bottles in the kitchen. I didn't have anywhere to put them. There's a bottle of Malibu, there's two bottles of Archers, there's a bottle of Prosecco, there is a bottle of wine. Um, I can't remember what else is out there. A couple of bottles of gin. So we sound like drinkers and we're not. They were all like left over from Christmas or we might have bought a bottle, had one drink out of and um, he's looking at me, he doesn't drink at all. <laughs> all right, me and the girls might have bought a bottle, have one drink out of and then just leave it. So yeah, there were quite a lot of bottles knocking about and I wanted somewhere to put them. So basically, that's why I bought this. It's really heavy. I don't know what the metal is. Um, is that aluminium, do you think? Or... Yeah. yeah, and solid wood. So that was the first thing. Oh. Then I got two of these glass um, worktop savers, chopping boards. I got two. I was only going to pick up this one because there's not a mark on this one. This one has got, can you see, there's like cuts to where the paint has chipped off on the other side. So I was going to leave it and the lady said, well, she said, I'll charge you three quid, for, three quid for the whole lot anyway. She said, you know, take it if you want, if you don't leave it. So I took it. <laughs> I never want to leave a bargain, guys. I'll find a use for it somewhere. Sorry, I've just knocked it into Howard's leg. Um, then I picked up a metal trivet for putting hot sauce buns on and this, there's no markings on it, it's just a cast iron, it needs a bloody good clean, it's just a cast iron little dish, roaster type of thing. Um, I will find a use for it. As I said, it does need a bloody good clean and my hands feel dusty just by touching it. But the whole lot for three quid, I didn't think that was bad at all. Excuse me while I just go and do something with those. That's better. Now I should explain the tip shop really. Um, basically, it's like a little cabin. It's at the refuse site and people just donate. Uh, we saw a gorgeous sofa there a couple of days ago. It was really nice. It was only 30 quid, guys. 30 quid for a sofa. To contemplate it because I would have been scratched to buggery with the cat. But yeah, we didn't. But yeah, they have some really nice stuff there that people donate. And also, Steph, when the men are watching people come to like put stuff in the skip, if they see anything that's nice, they will take it off the people and ask if they mind them donating it in the shop. So it's a good way for people on low incomes and, well, anybody really, to get a bargain. And also all the money then goes to charity. So yeah, we do support our local tip shop. 
So yeah, I just thought I'd explain that. We haven't just sort of gone rummaging in the tip. <laughs> the looks I'm getting of him. Right then, let's get on to Poundland. Whoa, this is a heavy bag. So first things first, we bought a hot tub spa and whirlpool system cleaner. It's actually a system cleaner. Does that go through the pump or something? Mm -hmm. We were going to use that to clean outside. Mm -hmm. Cleans and helps prolong the life of the system. Um, I think it's for inside. You can use it outside as well. Oh, well, he's going to use it outside. But I just wanted to bring that on. That was a was it a pound? Mm, yeah. Wanted to bring it on. It was a pound for Elaine. If you're watching Silver Moonlight, I know that you were looking for something to get the marks off your hot tub. We haven't tried that. Yet. We haven't tried it. So don't take my word for it. We will try it, and I will message you and let you know if it is any good but that's what it looks like if you were going for it i didn't realize it was a system cleaner i don't realize i don't know what you would do with it um you clean the pump anyway you use it to while the machine is on while it's full of water Remove the filter, close all the valves. It just says add 250 ml of the cleaner and turn on the main pump to high speed for 30 to 45 minutes. Drain the hot tub, rinse and fill it back up again. So yeah, you can use it as a um, like a shock treatment basically to kill anything that's in your hot tub and while the water's in there and this is in there, I think we'll just dip and scrub, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the best way of explaining it. So yeah, Elaine, I'll let you know if it's any good. That was number one. Or anyone else watching who've got a hot tub and they've got marks in it that they can't get off. It's worth a go anyway for a pound. Right then, let's get on with Poundland. It's all cleaning stuff, guys. It's nothing major. First of all, there's some um, Marshmallow Skies Limited Edition. Oh, it says bath soak. I thought it was shower gel. It was with the shower gels. It's going to be used as a shower gel. I don't see what difference it makes. Yeah, it smells nice. So yeah, it's a bubble bath, but I can use it as a shower gel. One pound. The sh the oh, I can't speak. Poundland isn't a pound shop anymore, is it? The prices have gone up everywhere, and I would have thought Poundland would keep their prices low. No, no. They've gone up to as much as all the other shops. Um, I got two of the um, allergy release. Anti-allergy tablets. There's 30 in each box and they're the Cetirazine ones. I can only take these. I can't take the Lovatazine. The Lovatazine ones don't work. Cetirazine do. So two packs of those because we were running low. And I take them every day. I suffer and I have done since I was pregnant with my eldest. I suffer with itches, really, really bad itches that you could just claw your skin off. And um, they diagnosed me with a thing called Gilbert's or Gilbert. It's called Gilbert syndrome, but I call it Gilbert's because that's how it's spelt. And um, it means I've got too much Billy Rubin in my system. Billy Rubin sounds like a country and western singer. <laughs> But I've got too much Billy Rubin in my system and it plays havoc and it just makes me itch uncontrollably, head to toe. It's awful. No rash, nothing, just itching. So that's why I take the antihistamines. And then, of course, hay fever kicks in and I've got that to contend with as well. Can't blame him win. Then, on the same sort of department, I picked up some Rennie. These are the spearmint ones this time. I normally go for peppermints. There's 12 chewable tablets in there. Give them a go. I do suffer at night. 
when I'm laying down, it wakes me up um, with acid reflux here. It's disgusting, it's horrible. If anyone else suffers with it, you've got my sympathies, it's dreadful. So yeah, try those. Then we've got some, oh this is Tesco. How did that get in there? Tesco Anti Dandruff Classic Shampoo. He normally uses wash and go. He washed and it went. <laughs> Funny, it is funny. So yeah, I thought it was um from Poundland, it it's not. It's it was, obviously what? It was from Poundland. It's got Tesco on it. Yeah, but it was from Poundland. Was it? Yeah. You saying it was from Poundland? Well it's got Tesco on it. So yeah, anti Sandriff classic shampoo. It's only for him, he's the only one that uses that. Um then I picked up two Nivea black and white invisible. <laughs> Original deodorant, five times antiperspirant, lasts for 48 hours. They were a pound each. I don't know why I'm going like that to show you. <laughs> I've got two of those. Right. Hedgehog food. No, it's not for you, it's worms. Dried meal worms. They're really for the birds. But our hedgehog has those mixed up with his food. So I've got two of those. Then I've got a packet of Purina One. This is the Bifensis. It's dual defence adult. This is the salmon one. The hedgehog will eat that. We mix three or four different brands together. Um, yeah, he loves it. Hedgehogs do like cat food. I would never give wet cat food, it would stink. I mean, he smells bad enough as it is. Can you imagine wet cat food in a vivarium with heat? Mm. So yeah, dried cat food, he likes it. Then I've got a Dettol Clean and Fresh, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, multi-purpose. This is the pomegranate and lime. It's a mega one litre one and it was a pound, no, two pound that one. Yeah, give that one a go because I normally use either pink stuff or kitchen spray with bleach. But that was multi-purpose, can use it everywhere and yeah, for two pounds I just thought I'd use the same one everywhere instead of buying different products. But saying that, they had some new fabulosas in that I hadn't seen before. Or if I had seen them, they hadn't registered. That one's coming undone. Right, so I've got three of these spray ones. They were only a pound each. The lids are coming loose though. This is the Bali Beach Room and Fabric Freshener. It said for a pound, I'm going to give it a sniff. That smells nice. It smells sort of floral. I like that one. Then I've got the Mango Punch Room and Fabric Freshener. Very mangoey. And then the last one was the um, Thailand Treasure Room and Fabric Freshener. Kind of coconutty. So there was those. And then there were these. Three Fabulosas again. But these are the foam fresheners for the carpets. When you've got animals, I think these are a godsend. So there is floral bouquet. You just spray it on, it foams up and you leave it. You don't have to vacuum it up. It freshens up your carpet, it's a treat. Then we've got blueberry sugar. Again, they were all a pound. And we have got beautiful life. So that was my pound land. I'm going to quickly get in with the charity shop now because we're on 15 minutes already. Let me just grab the stuff. 
Right, charity shop. So I've got this Pyrex frying pan and I only picked it up because it's got the red and the black. In fact, it looks like my Le Creuset set. So yeah, that was two pound, really heavy cast iron. And people would say, why would you buy cookware and stuff from a charity shop? If it goes through the dishwasher, guys, or a good hot scrub with soapy water, there's no difference. You eat in the cafe, you eat in the restaurant, what is the difference? None at all. So I'm all for a bargain. I picked then, for £2, these oil and vinegar pourers. There's the oil. There's the vinegar. And again, they are exactly the same colours as my Le Creuset. So, and they make a lovely addition to the kitchen and they'll be used just to wash through in the dishwasher and jobs are good in. I picked up this utensil holder for utensils. <laughs> <laughs> he's not impressed <laughs> oh my god for the spatula wooden spoon that sort of thing and that was two quid as well i got this mini little casserole again it looks like the crusade but it's not five pounds i really like it it looks like the coon recon one i've got very, very similar, but this isn't cast iron. This is um, stoneware. What's it called? Ceramic. No, not ceramic. Crockery. Like what plates are made out of. It's not china. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. You know what I mean though, guys. But yeah, I love it. I picked up a little harness for Luna. It's just a little pink harness. I think it was 50p. His um, pulls on her neck here. So yeah, just pick that up. Howard bought me him. Oh, cute is he? He's lovely. I don't know how much he was, but who don't like Paddington? And he is going to sit in my car. He's going to keep me company on journeys. He's lush, I love him. I've picked up these pair of, they're called jeans, but they're not. They're just stretchy trousers. They've got the high, uh, the high waist. They've got the label on them. And it says Jesse High Waist by Papaya Denim. And they were £16. And I got them for £3.50 in St Vincent's. And they're just black. Do they have pockets? No front pockets, but they do have back pockets. Extremely stretchy. Um, we used to call them, back in the day, canvas jeans. Um, I don't know what they're called now. They're not jeans, though. They're more of a trouser, but they're jean style. Super, super stretchy. So I've got those. Then I've got a pair of DM style boots. Obviously, they're not DMs, but... Yep, very similar. So I've got those. Then I picked up, these were brand new. I'm rushing through these last few bits. These were brand new, 12 pound label still on them, Matalan. And they were 3.75. Little pair of pumps with the little gold chain on the front. So I really like those, they're nice. And this little basket. Oh, don't like a straw basket in the summer. I love it. I've been looking for the perfect straw basket for so long. I've got a few and I'm not never never been happy with them. They've not held their shape or the handles have been wrong. That's perfect. Look, it is solid and I love it. So that was three pounds and then the last charity shop thing was two pounds 
and it's an embroidery kit. Now I do have all that cross stitch stuff that was gifted to me, but this is embroidery and I've not done embroidery before. So it's got everything inside. Um, I'm gonna open it and show you. So we've got a hoop. Oh gosh, there's loads. Like a little scissor thing, a thimble. What's that there? Oh, okay, they're covers. No, they're not. They're needle threaders. Can you see there? That's a, two needle threaders, a thimble. Um, we have got the embroidery kit in there with the threads, the fabric and the instructions. It's a Christmas one. Oh, I've got two in there. Three. I've got three in there for two quid. Then I've got a Santa one with all the bits and pieces inside because I can feel them all. And then so I've got a snowman one, a Santa one and a Christmas tree one with everything inside. All for two quid. It's a bloody bargain. I only thought there was one in there. Amaze balls, I love that. I'm going to be cracking on with that and maybe turning them into cushions for Christmas. And then, have I got time? Yeah, I have got time. On the way home, I popped in Sainsbury's for some shopping and they had a sale on. I couldn't resist and husband don't even know I bought them and he sat by there watching me with a face like bloody thunder. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to hide him in the wardrobe and say, oh, I've had some ages. <laughs> Because he's sat there watching me. <laughs> I can't lie anymore, guys, because he watches all my videos. I can't get away with anything. Oh, my God, the face on him. Oh, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> so it was all half price. You can see it was half price. So that one was seven quid. And I am going to wear them. So how lush is that? It's a little peplum top with a ruched bodice front and back and these gorgeous puff sleeves. It's got all oranges on and it lush. Now this one is a size 18. As I said, it was £7 half price. If you like that, get yourself down to your nearest Sainsbury's and see if they've got it. They didn't have many left in hours, but I'm so glad I popped in. I love that. And then this was the last one. They didn't have any more. Um, I had to get this in. Well, I didn't have to get this. It was the only one there. But I picked it up. It was a size 20. Um, I did try it on in the shop. He didn't even know that. <laughs> Very quickly over my jeans. Um, and it is a tad big. But I'm good with the needle and thread, guys. So I'll be able to alter it. Half price look. And... It is this lovely, I think you call this material poplin. It's a gorgeous pink. It's got these lovely, lovely puff sleeves. Look at those. They're really dramatic. Then it goes into a v-neck with a shaping under the boobs. Can you see? Then a elasticated waist. The back of the waist is ruched. So it's elasticated and then you're going to hear me walking in this mind because listen <laughs> and then it's got a lovely tear along the bottom it's absolutely gorgeous why and i so huh? why is it so sad why because it's got tears oh sad jokes so i'm imagining walking with that holding my little basket pair of nice little sandals on my feet and sunglasses walking oh. along the beach so you've got to take me to the beach now husband okay. <laughs> so that was my haul and a very big one it was i hope you enjoyed guys um, if you can remember everything i bought let me know what you liked and what you didn't like um yeah talk to me in the comments i love chatting to you all i really do 
um it just makes my day when i have a comment and i get to chat with you i love it uh, that's one of the perks of me doing youtube all the lovely friends i've made so if you like this sort of content luna thinks she's a motorbike if you like this sort of content and is it's still yes it is and um you'd like to see more please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button it would mean the world to me um my channel art or my description of who i am and everything if you go into my channel there's a little button with a link to buy me a coffee i'm trying to generate some more income so that i can buy a proper camera so that i can bring you more content um a lot of people have this buy me a coffee so i thought i'd give it a go don't need to try to say guys <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video have a lush weekend guys bye